Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. Today we're going to talk about five generations of Corvettes that are the cheapest here at Corvette Warehouse that are available right now. So I did want to let you know the criteria that I have on these cars is we are looking for cars that are the lowest possible price and are 100,000 miles. We have the C4 through the C8 generations that are for sale here. So those are the ones that we're going to focus on now. So the first one we're going to look at is a 1995 Torch Red Coupe. It has 30,078 miles for $16,995. Absolutely love this. Always loved the C4 growing up. I remember seeing them running around and obviously I was pretty young. Definitely couldn't afford one at that time. But these things are absolutely beautiful in my opinion. This one has a gray interior. It is an automatic. But look at all of the space in the back here. Let's open this puppy up and check it out. I love, look, look how far you have to lift your legs up to get it over. Very interesting. Reminds me of the Lotus Esprit. But look at all the space in the back here. Very nice. And one of my favorite things about the C4 was when you lift up the front hood here, you have so much space. So, such easy access to work on it. Let's check that out right now. Yeah. So I'm here with Andy, a senior Corvette specialist at Corvette Warehouse. He showed me something really cool about the C4 that I'd never heard of. I was completely unaware. So obviously we have the hood up, which is awesome. But if you want to rev the engine, Now that is awesome. That's something I have never seen before. Had no idea. Ooh, and then check out the lights. I love it. Those are, I swear, this is one of the coolest cars. Check it out. Very nice. What do you guys think? I love this. Look at, I mean, again, if you work on cars, I mean, how cool is this? Because everything is right here, accessible. Still one of my favorite cars in the Corvette lineup. Next up after the C4 is going to be obviously a C5. This is a Machine Silver 2004. It has 75,030 miles and it's 19,995. It is a 1SB with chrome wheels. Of course, it's got the molding as we've talked about in the past. That kind of helps complete the Stingray. The molding in the center completes the tail. So you have your Stingray right through there. Very, very cool. And this one is a convertible. It does have the head-up display, a black interior, and it has Corsa exhaust. So that's pretty nice as well. Next up, we have a C6. It's a 2005 black C6. This one is a 3LT, 76,523 miles for $20,995. It's got the polished aluminum wheels. What do you guys think? Polished aluminum, chrome, or black? What works best? Or possibly even bronze. What's your favorite color with a black car? This one has black interior and it is an automatic. And the interior is in really good shape, actually. Check that out. Not bad for a car with 70,000 miles, 76. So you can tell this one was treated very nicely, especially look at the glass right here. It's in still really good shape, so you have to imagine this thing was garage kept. Let's check out the back. Nice chrome tips. All right, so that's the C6. Next up, we have a C7 Corvette. This one is Arctic White, 51,000 miles on it, 44,995. It has stealth badging. It also has chrome wheels with bright red brake calipers. It is a Z51 3LT. The vent right here is also carbon fiber. You have carbon fiber side skirts, adrenaline red and black interior. It's an automatic convertible. Check it out, you even have some additional carbon fiber right here. It's got the I can't remember the name of the glass. There's a company that produces that. I'm not sure if it's by them. I know they've been around a while, but very nice. Has the ACS composite 
rear fascia extensions along with the XL rock guards. I believe they're just rock guards now. I think they went away from the small and the large, but once again, so the stealth badging, beautiful convertible. So if convertible is what you're looking for, especially now that summer's coming, this could be the right one for you. But again, another one under 100,000 miles, 51,021. Last but not least, we have the eighth generation of Corvettes, the C8. This is a 2023 Elkhart Lake Blue, 2,910 miles, 73,995. Now this one is also a 1LT, and it's a coupe, Z51. It's got the edge yellow brake calipers, black wheels, sky cool gray interior, along with black and gray stitching. And you have yellow seat belts. Those will help accent your edge yellow brake calipers. Now this one also has the chrome tips. Also available, obviously, here at Corvette Warehouse in Dallas. But that is the C4 through the C8, the cheapest ones they have here available at Corvette Warehouse with less than 100,000 miles. So I think it's a pretty good lineup. Before we leave though, I wanna show you guys, we have every generation of Corvette here at Corvette Warehouse from the C1 through the C8. So we're gonna go take a look at each and every one of those. All right, so we're gonna take a look, Steve, at every single generation. There's a great thing about Corvette Warehouse. You can come here and you can see every generation available of Corvette. Now, not every one of these are for sale, obviously. And this is one of the cars, these first three cars are gonna be owned by Doug, the owner of Corvette Warehouse, who is a true Corvette enthusiast. But what do you think of this? Oh, I love this car. I just, having ridden in this car, I like the creature features of the new car. Because yeah. there's no power steering. Oh man. It's... What do you think about the white walls? Me with white walls. Shit. Like cleaning them out all the time. Right? Yeah. This is a great looking car though. But I'm more of a, of a C2 fan than a C1 fan. So. Yeah, which we have a C2. So let's take a look. The C2 right here. Gorgeous. I, I like the blue. Oh. Very nice blue. And I know you're not normally a blue I'm not fan. I'm a blue fan, but I love it here. I mean, it's great. Too bad it wasn't a split window, but yeah. it's still iconic. It is very, I mean, look at that. The old school font. The white interior, look at that white interior. Yeah, still very clean. And it's a manual. They're probably all manuals, I guess. Yeah, See, I lack, I lack early Corvette knowledge. Before we do that, we're gonna go look at a few others, but check it out. So then we have a C3 right here. This is probably the first Corvette for me that I fell in love with was the C3. Again, as I've said before, the 1978 Indianapolis Pace car was my favorite. I know those were just decals that you could either add or not have them on there. That was your choice. I believe they were dealer installed. If I'm incorrect, let me know down in the comments. But man, that was definitely my first love. So we got one, two, and three right here, all owned by Doug. Speaking of Doug, there's Doug showing up right now. Got the Riptide Blue. He had to take it for a drive. He thought, hey man, why not take it out on a beautiful rainy day? <laughs> we, won't, we won't interfere in his uh, private time. <laughs> He's got his brand new tie. I like it. Yeah, driving a car with 100 miles in the rain, but check out that tie, man. I want to get a close up. I'm from Wisconsin, so it's a cheese. Ah, cheese. He's a cheese head. Yeah. yeah. Nice, and an eBay shirt, I mean shirt, tie for eight bucks, you gotta love that. So then as we just went through, you got the C4, C5, C6, C7, and the C8. I mean, my goodness, what more could you ask for? Corvette Warehouse has it all. So a little bit of the behind the scenes, prepping for this, we've got Mario, and him right here moving the cars around because we're doing the C6, 7, and 8, but they've got to make space. We got cars outside. We're going to line the Elkhart Lake Blue up on the end. We're going to have the C8, that white C7, as you'll have already seen, obviously, and then the 6, 
the five and the four. We're gonna have a bunch of them right here in front of this Corvette warehouse sign.